how often do we wake up to the sounds of birds singing in unison how frequently do we feel the calmness of the cool breeze how commonly do we experience the bare village roads on our foot all this sounds so rewarding and pure we are so much occupied in our daily routines that we have forgotten the real beings who we are you get to explore and be your true self when you go back to the places where we belong come get connected to the roots in my second part of the nagaland journey youtube meet my friends hi i'm ankita and i'm a content creator hey i'm nishant i run chalo hopo hi i am priyanka biswas i'm a portrait photographer it's so beautiful together we went on a week long adventurous trip across the beautiful terrains of nagaland organized by chalo hopo we had a crazy time exploring this stunning place <laughs> this series is my travel log from nagaland so day 3 in nagaland and uh, i'm in zuleke right now and it's beautiful over here like you know uh, the the air feels so fresh uh, but it's like very cold like you know i'm i'm literally like wearing like four layer of clothing and even like yesterday at night it got like really cold i think like the temperature was close to like minus 2 or minus 3 degree centigrade uh, but it was uh, a little bit cloudy yesterday if if it's not cloudy at night uh, in the early morning you can actually see like frost this place is very really nice it's very green it's very raw and uh, it feels really good to be here our plan for today is uh, we'll be going to this village called as khonoma which is almost like uh, half an hour or one hour drive from uh, zuleke Uh, but before that we are going to explore the town and uh, hopefully if we find some uh, snow i'll be showing you that on the camera so yeah like we'll start from here and i'll keep you all posted we woke up to a very pleasant morning and decided to explore the place the village trails running parallelly to a stream of water was making for a perfect picture postcard to experience this stunningly beautiful region on foot was truly inspiring and rewarding morning how's morning the, how's the banana doing in your body <laughs> <laughs> How was yesterday? Did you feel cold? Yesterday was great. You know what they gave? They gave us like these bottles of water, heated, okay. wrapped in like clothes. Okay. So we put that under the blanket and we slept. Interesting. That was, that was, we got a room heater by the way. That's what I'm saying. That's a normal thing. And but that was unusual. Shot with the room. <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> Morning. Morning. How was yesterday? Great. Had a great sleep. We had a hot water bottle. We stayed warm for really long. <laughs> Could not get up in the morning. <laughs> But yeah, we are here. Ah, that kid was so cute. There was beauty all around, and we were totally lost in absorbing the captivating scenery around. What are these birds? <clears throat> How does it get like that? I've never the seen this. The lines are like clouds, just like that. Like I've seen parts, like so sometimes bits are like that, mm. but this is like the whole sky is just like making brush stroke. Yeah. The walk through the village was rejuvenating. We could feel the cool breeze of the morning as we walked along the muddy trail. It was an ideal setup to unwind and relax, and we were taken back to our childhood days.
So it's nine o'clock in the morning, and it's a little bit of sunny right now. We are like one hour late from our schedule, and uh, we are heading today to this place, which is called as Khonoma. It's almost like one hour drive from Zuleke, and uh, we are going to have some real, uh, authentic local experience over there. Like we're gonna go catch fishes, and then we are gonna cook food for ourselves. We're gonna pluck vegetables from the farm. So I'm really excited for that, and I think this is exactly what Chalo Hopper is known for, like the authentic local experience. So I'm really excited. We'll start now, and I'll keep you all posted. Bye, bye, Bella. It was nice seeing you. Taking away a part of place with us, and bidding adieu to the friendly and warm people, we left Zuleke for our next destination, the green village of Khonoma. The drive to the village was truly serene and pleasing to eyes, with lush green forests amidst the hills. Negotiating with the twists and turns of intriguing mountain roads, soon we reached Khonoma. We have just reached Khonoma, and uh, we are here to meet our guide. Like we'll meet our guide quickly, and then we'll start the rest of the journey for the day. So yeah, like I'm really excited because we are gonna go fishing and we're gonna pluck vegetables from the farm. So. I'm really excited to have that experience. So, yeah, like it's a little bit of sunny today, uh, but the weather is like still very pleasant. Like the wind is very cool and it feels good to be here. So yeah, like we'll start from here and I'll keep you all posted. Really good. So what's up, man? How do you feel about the place? Ah, um, I think it's very, very different from what Zuleki was. I think it's way more touristy and people are more uh, modernized for sure than Zuleki. Uh, but yeah, we're yet to see. We're just waiting for lunch. Then we're gonna go to the riverside, catch some fish, and maybe barbecue them on the riverside. Yeah. We were all very excited about the local experience that was in store for us. And we started running down towards the water body, where we were supposed to do fishing. So we have been trekking down, and this place is a little bit like double decker road bridge. Like this place totally reminds me of double decker road bridge, like how easy it was to go down towards the bridge, but while coming back it was very difficult. So I think something very similar is going to happen this time as well. Taking those tiny steps one by one, we soon trekked down, and what we saw next was just pristine. Look at that view, man! Look at that view. Well. You don't get to see the paddy fields nestled between the gigantic hills very often. After capturing those beautiful views, we were back on our trail to the narrow stream of water. So well, this is for trapping the fish. Interesting. I think we'll block this, and the water will come here, and the probably will the fishes will come here. Dry. So what are we trying to do here? We're trying to catch some fish. So the the guy who is with us, the guide, Atsu, Atsu is an expert, and he's strong. Look at him, he's carrying mud and stuff. So we're trying to block off one area so the fish can get uh, stuck in the other area. So he just like right now he's laying the trap manually, and it's very interesting. He moved all the there's this whole. 
everything was here the rocks he opened the whole channel up and even i am observing as to what he is up to because he's this thing is at it and we got the first catch of the day the setup was so simple and yet so effective Amidst all the progress that we have made, we have forgotten that there are simpler ways of doing things. Pondering over this thought, we moved ahead to have a sumptuous meal. So we just got done with fishing, and uh, now we are heading towards the village. And on the way, we are going to pick up some, uh, pick up some vegetables. vegetables. We are actually already plucking some vegetables, and we are going to use the same vegetables for cooking our meal at night. Uh, I don't know, like how many, how many of you have actually got to experience this raw form of travel? But I am really enjoying it, and trust me, like this is like the first time that I am actually getting to stay with the locals, you know, interact with them. Uh, I think like this is something. which is different for me and i really am glad for being a part of chalo hopo team because not i have not seen this experience anywhere else to be very honest and i'm literally this is not a brand plug in or something which you might be thinking this is like me talking genuinely on the camera so yeah like we'll keep moving and i'll keep you posted this day was truly a rewarding experience Amidst all the hustle bustle of our daily chorus we have forgotten our roots our true soul one day in village and you realize how simple our lives used to be the purest form of life shaded with trees and leaves like a piggy bank filled with memories that warmth in the air which changes the color of things and how life was by as quiet as a murmur the pure murmuring of the life what happens next stay tuned for the next part of my point of view nagaland usually uh, most of the village like if if you are <laughs> and i know like nishant is trying to do something stupid <laughs> because like it's it's actually very tiring and see this is what happened to you like when you're very tired wild apples everywhere good to hit what you want what you want to hit as long as your aim is good like i'm going to hit his face now 